Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our series. So I've done a little bit of off-camera work and what we said in the last episode was that we are gonna focus on a bit of bit of production for the forestry department. Um, so let's go through a couple of things I've done off-camera just to make sure that we can focus on this episode's goals. All right, so zoom out. A lot of things have changed. So first of all, I did complete this TAM and I have added, well, quite a few additional pumps in here as well. Not just the pumps, but also a few showers. Okay, there's one, two, three and four. Beautiful. Two tanks are complete as well, which means, yes, we are producing some gears. Moving on this section, I'm starting to put in the footprint for uh, creating like a nice little bridge over here. Uh, what do we need? Uh, I don't want to waste the science points because I do want to get the large windmills unlocked. Okay, so that is that section. And I guess the biggest change is right about here. So first of all, we've got a ton of chestnut trees. And that is to supply this zone here. Yeah, all of these trees have grown up as well. So we've uh, gone through about 24 days of off-camera work. And yeah, so this one gatherer flag is able to, I think think maybe not uh, we might actually have to do another one but essentially yeah he goes around gathers as many chestnuts as he can and then in this corner here we've got two grills that are running one of them is doing grilled chestnuts and the other one's doing grilled uh, spatter dock over here uh, which is of course growing just on the uh, well inside the river i suppose yeah okay uh, you guys are pretty full so i think we we are gonna have to put a small warehouse somewhere here just to ensure that we can pick up as much as we as much as we can. Now, this little boxy looking thing with trees in the middle is our living complex. And if we go all the way down, what I've done is I've used the the main highway that cuts through right about here. And the bottom layer is warehouses that are holding different types of food. And what I was thinking, um, well, because those warehouses are pretty small, I did also a second layer where it sort of fits of course and uh, we have even more warehouses yeah just the tiny ones every single one of them is set to one specific type of food some of them i believe are still empty yep so if anything fills up we can give it additional um, food types and every now and then where it kind of doesn't fit or isn't enough space to do another warehouse we just put a couple small houses here as well. It has a slightly different layout. That's because I just wanted to have a bit of greenery in here. Oh, this reminds me, we don't need this forester anymore. So you can go and work somewhere else. I wanted to have some trees growing in the middle of this housing just to expand this uh, green space that the beavers are living in. I mean, it's pretty, it's looking pretty nice already with the campfires here in the, in the kind of like a forest. And then uh, in there around the houses as well, we got couple more pine trees as well it just makes it a lot nicer let's keep going so this area here as well changed it around a little bit we've put in all the sections where we need levees and in the future we're going to have some water flowing through here as well plants are going pretty nicely i mean the food stockpiles are pretty much full and what i've done here as well this one just holds raw potatoes and we've got a grill on the roof there and moving on so this is like a mini production zone We've got a few power wheels at the back and at the front we're just producing a little bit of gears, a little bit of planks and that's allowed us to build a couple of things. And of course, a few more houses to make sure we have those spare beavers that we are going to need in this new district. So another thing I was I remembered was um, we don't have to wait for this whole big construction to be, you know, completed before turning this area into into green green space i mean this is not a not a new trick but i've typically avoided the water pump or sorry the water dumped a uh, little trick because i always forget about taking the beaver out and uh, it just feels like it's a wasted space sorry wasted uh, beaver that could be doing something more productive so what we can do is we can attach to this little indicator over here and all we got to do is unpause when below let's say 0 0.6 seems to be good i think yep and we shall pause it when it goes above let's say 0 0.8 perhaps 
I'm going to give it the highest priority as well. What's going to happen now is every time it detects that we are below 0 0.6 of, uh, of water, uh, then this building will be will be operational and the beaver, because it's the highest priority, we will always have one of those beavers in here. And when it goes above 0 0.8, I believe it said, yeah, 0 0.8, then this building is going to pause, which it has, has already done. So perfect. Now this area is a little bit more green and we can actually do this throughout this whole zone in here. Okay, uh, before we move beavers into, oh, we've got Wait a second, 10 spare beavers, that's fantastic. So I think tomorrow we are going to move some more beavers into, into this district here and we'll start developing it. Just to finish off the updates, let's see. I have put in uh, this little square of pines as well. Once we will start needing the, the pine resin, so we'll, uh, we won't have to wait too long. We're, we're going to, it's pre-made in the future. Once we need it, we'll... Uh, you know, start harvesting that right for the besides the science oh we already have enough science for the power we are gonna need some paper as well so how about we unpause you someone could also work in here actually and right our new district i don't want to be sending beavers back and forth it's uh, going to be very tedious so we are let's say right about here we're going to build one of those distri distribution centers so that's going to go there oh that means we will not be having enough once we unlock you right oh yeah just 250 50 of them though so that's not too bad okay and you shall distribute we'll do a little bit of food and water maybe potatoes yeah potatoes and water that should be enough to get the get the colony going and I do have to clean this space up as well so maybe a few uh, let's see lumberjacks spread out um, <laughs> this seems pretty good so we'll unpause you we'll have if we have eight spare right now let's send over five that's that seems like a good amount and we should have enough beavers to man this station here as well as soon as it's cleared up and let's take a look oh you're gonna have to go as well few wasted logs but i think we are okay right please get this built we'll have oh we have a lot of spare beavers okay nine right now no available workers in the district oh i sent the kids over that's not good District 2, District district 1. Yeah, the kids go back and let's send the adults. Okay, I'm glad I noticed my mistake uh, pretty quickly. So, yep, you guys do a quick uh, swap over. And let's just make sure we've got five adults and zero children. All right, is this almost done? It shall be. Okay, beautiful. Add the new route. Start sending water straight away. And we would also like to have a few grilled potatoes. Okay. And they should be able to live here now. Fantastic. Uh, have I marked a zone? Oh, yes, I have. Since you are no longer needed, we can take a few beavers out. And to speed it up even further, let's do a couple more. There's one builder here, so you can go, yep, get this done. And I think we're going to need a bit of housing as well, don't we? Yep, let's do two houses in here, which should be enough for for those beavers there. Since we have five in here, housing space we have for six. We could, yeah, we'll uh, send one more beaver over. Just to make sure that uh, they're not going to have kids in here. Okay, and there we go. Are you saying we still have a couple of spare beavers? No. Oh, you have, you have two unemployed. That's okay. Jump in there. Uh, no, 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 no. Wait a second. What are you guys doing? Get these two built. And then these shall be the next. Right, so the drought is almost over, which is great. Oh, we've uh, run out of water. I mean, I do have one water dump here as well, but one isn't enough to keep everything fertile. But that's okay. I don't think... Uh, well, never mind. Wheat's already died. What about you guys? 0 0.6 days. Oh, uh, no. It is so close. Can we build another water dump? 
let's say right about here give you the uh, highest priority and we'll uh, set up the same settings so unpause when you are below oh when above okay maybe something like that and unpause when it goes below and i think you shall also have a very high priority yes there we go i've spotted there we can do another one of you since we have enough logs i think we can take these trees out as well and unmark this whole zone yeah we don't want the beavers to start cutting down the chestnut trees okay what is going through oh that's coming from the dumps okay okay things are looking good we got got a 13 kids as well so we just want to clear up this air area and then I'd like to do the same thing in here. I guess we'll put a dump, water dump somewhere, somewhere in this corner. And maybe space a few out in this whole, whole zone. The drought has finally ended, so that's great news. But it's still gonna take a little bit of time before this zone turns green. Um, <laughs> right. So let's take a look at here. We're gonna need some power. I do... How much paper do we have? Oh, 18. Does that mean you're full? No, you are not full. But I'd like to... Ooh, I wonder. Let's uh, let's unlock one of those large wa uh, windmills. Oh, okay. The height is a bit problematic. Uh, that's fine. All right, so since we do have quite a, quite a few spare beavers right now, I am thinking of sending over additional three. One, two, three... Here we go, let's increase it to 9. And this just allows us to start constructing and cutting down the rest of the trees a little bit quicker as well. Uh, let's take a look. Okay, we still have one, one more beaver that could help us out. And that's perfect because we can do it like so. Yep, get those uh, trees out from there as well. Amazing. Uh, you can go there and this one. And now what I'd like to do is I think right about here I'd like this to be a slightly higher priority oh we are gonna need some blanks as well don't we yes we are and let's see distribution limits I don't need a lot of blanks here right now but oh never mind we could just start producing them rather than sending them over that yeah that is the end goal but now with the with the layout in here as well what I'd like to do <laughs> I think trees will be at the backside and the production could be a little bit closer to the water that would be lovely just by this road in here I think in the future we're gonna have a distribution center right about somewhere here I suppose or maybe even further up actually maybe somewhere here because I'd like this whole area to be production um, right 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 now let me just speed it up a little bit to get this done a little bit quicker okay perfect this house is almost done as well and then we'll do a little water drop off zone there uh, that means we are going to need blanks so do you know what it's fine let's uh, just do a quick one here since the road oh can we oh I see this isn't marked for cutting just yet but that's fine here we go we got beavers cutting down a couple of those dead trees over here okay now let's see if we can place you since the road is here let's do one right about there we are going to need some power as well of course so for for now i think yeah it's just gonna have to be a power wheel Come on, get this tree done. Oh, that's going to take a bit of time, isn't it? Yep, get those logs. Beautiful. Okay, how is the dam going? It should be done before... Before the drought starts, right? Maybe... Oh yeah, this whole thing needs to be a slightly high priority. That's okay. Uh, only three left, so that will go pretty quickly as long as we can get those trees, right? Uh, we got 136 in this district right now so that should be uh, should be fine and as soon as actually i think we'll give you a highest priority 
Then you and you as well. Alright, there we go. Does everyone have a job? Yes, they do. Nighttime now, so we'll speed it up. Let's have a quick look in the main colony as well. How are things here? So this one's full and it's paused. And that is great. You, why are you not paused? Oh, pause went above. Are you above? Uh, highest water level. Water level right now, 65. Unpause. Let's do the same. 60, uh, 0.6 and 0.4. So 0.6, a little bit more. Here we go. This can stay as a 3. That's fine. Quite a few spare PVs here. So let's have a lot more at the hauling post. Yeah, I think we can go up to 10. So that's going to help us uh, out a little bit. Pine trees are now complete as well. And halfway there to get some pine resin. You are not working because we don't have the power wheel. And you're almost done. Just a few more logs in here. Beautiful. So that's definitely going to be done before the drought starts. Amazing. Okay, and they've... Um, what's a bit of a shame is all these plants died before. And it takes a very long time for them to grow again. Uh, but that's okay. It seems grilling Sparadoc is a little bit slower than doing potatoes. So I, I am thinking... We could perhaps do another grill somewhere in this zone. Maybe even... Maybe even here. Yeah, we can turn you off, I think. Uh, a couple more chestnut trees. And in here. And let's just uh, make sure that none of these are being harvested or cut down. Oh, wait a second. No. That's not what we want to do here. We want to put a grill right here. That's okay, we can quickly fix it. Let's cut this one down as well. And food. Yep, that looks good. Grill right about there and you are okay. Perfect, it is all set and good to go now. Right, back to this district over here. Are we making planks already? No, we are not. So you two should have a slightly higher priority. Okay, perfect. Alright, there's two jobs that need beavers, but I think they are... Yeah, they're definitely one of those lumberjacks. And to be fair, that's fine. Because we don't really have a lot more trees to cut down here, do we? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> couple left. Yeah, they definitely have the reach, so that's fine. Okay, what's flooded? I think these are our... Oh yeah, water pumps. But that's okay. Alright, how many blanks do we have now? One. Let's uh, figure out this water dump drop-off as well. Okay, I think something like like this should be, uh, should be good. And we are going to need some stairs. Let's just quickly, quickly test. And... <laughs> Uh, I think we're going to have to do the, yep, you first. We'll give you an even higher priority and pause this levy in case someone gets stuck. All right, and now uh, water dump can go there. You're done. Beautiful. I uh, will attach you right about there. So, unpause when below something like that and pause when above. Let's say six. Okay. Maybe we should unpause you again. Yeah, we're just waiting for planks, but the beavers can quickly have this levy completed. Please don't climb up there. You're going to get stuck, aren't you? No, you're not. Okay, fine. And now we're just waiting for planks. Beautiful. That's going to make this area a bit more fertile, which will allow us to start... start putting some more trees in this area. Okay, so looking looking pretty good so far. I mean, what we could do to speed things up, we could, of course, uh, send some blanks over. Yep, let's send them here. Blanks. I don't know why I decided not to do it before. Maybe I thought it's going to be quick if we build this production here, but um, it, it's fine. Let's uh, fix it real quick. 
We'll send some more blanks over, get this water dump done. Let's say your highest priorities for you. And is this Levy almost done? Yes, it is. Okay. And then we shall just carry on. Uh, do not climb up there. Okay, pause, pause. Don't really want those beavers to be climbing up because then they will be... Oh, actually, they will not be stuck. Right. Is anyone working here? Yes, they are. And here we go. Now, all we need is a forester. Okay, here we go. We'll uh, give you a slightly higher priority. And also, set you to maples. Have you been paused already? No, but... It seems full, so why aren't you not paused? Oh. Okay, there we go. And with the rest, I think um, it should be nice and quick to to got this all down here. We'll do the same. Let's just have it all got down as quick as we can. And um, we'll just reset this area. Uh, we'll, don't worry, we'll have plenty of trees growing all over this place here. And uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, shift over our lumberjacks from, from here, here. And also... Oh, I do want this to be cut down as well. But I think you can go. You can stay here. That's fine, because you still have a range... Oh, maybe not so much. Four builders. Oh, we don't have trees. Well, that's a little bit funny. Okay, since we are a little short on the logs, I think we are going to have to unpause some of the closer lumberjacks. I mean, general stockpile is pretty good. About a thousand. It's just that those levees take a take quite a few logs. Trout is uh, for another 7.4 days. Okay, you're not really producing right now. We'll cut everything down actually. Is anyone working? There is someone working there. How many? Since we are exporting uh, blanks from the other district, let's pause you so we can have a couple more lumberjacks. We'll tidy up this area a little bit quicker and hopefully we'll be even able to, you know, build it a bit quicker as well, of course. Okay, two spare beavers, one here and one, another one right about there. Actually, no, let's uh, let's have you there and hopefully they'll clear up this uh, that section there. I was thinking about closing this space, but if we want to drop it with some dynamites, I mean, we could do it from up there. Yeah, they... <laughs> okay, never mind, we are going to close it. One, two, three, and one there. You can go here, and as soon as they take this tree out, we shall be fine. Okay, and this extension here. Okay, I think it's going well. Um, next bit we are going to have to do is we will need to... Do we have space in here? Oh yes, they can most definitely go towards here, but I need those beavers to go, I think, up here. Yeah, to finish the construction on that side. For that, I think the easiest way to do this or achieve this will be by clearing this space up. And we shall... How deep is this? Okay, so that platform will be enough. Now let's say they go... This seems better. And then we are also going to need, need to connect this with the, with the road. Uh, I've just realized why they're not taking those trees down. It's because you don't really have a road connected. Um, <laughs> let's take uh, this tree out. We have a lot more science points now. And that means we can also do a bridge over here. Okay. Yep. Let's connect you up to give you a slightly more direct route. And this space here. Let's put a set of stairs right about there as well okay here we go now we can connect you up are you able to reach though let's see right now they have to go all the way around but that seems to be seems to be all right the other section of a bridge is now complete as well any second just a little bit more okay final piece of the road is connected and that should be done pretty quickly i think let's check on the our newest district again it's going pretty nicely, why are you not... Oh, wait, let's see again. Yep, let's highlight you. 
And now that is all good. All right. Here we go. Things are looking pretty lovely now. Do you have enough logs? Oh, plentiful. And how many spare beavers do you have? Not that many, though. Right about here, we can do some stairs that go up like so. And we do another drop zone. Yep, this should be good. Let's put you right about there. I hope they're not going to lock themselves. Oh, someone's going to do it, aren't they? And we'll do a water dump as well. Have these things constructed as quick as you can. And we'll set you up. Just like before, unpause when it's below, something like that, and pause when it's above. I think six was pretty good, so let's set you like that. Now, next thing, um, power. Power is definitely something we want to do now, since we do have enough paper. Let's see, you are already unlocked. Now, it would be silly not to use, oh, actually, we can't build here because it's too close to the edge of the map, isn't it? It seems so. Could also send even more beavers over. So if we do a few more flags, let's say, like so, one more building for them to live in. And we'll send over additional three because we got 11 spare beavers right now. Yep, let's do that as soon as it's morning. Okay, seems the stockpile is full. We got a trout. That, oh, it ended. I thought it started almost. Right, let's give them another stockpile as well. If you wouldn't mind and construct it as quick as you can, please. Okay, here we go. Now they can empty their lumberjack flags as well. That's going well. Where are you? You're still planting these trees. And yeah, let's uh, put some more maples in here. It's easier to cut them down or demolish them later. Right now, we just want to we wanna plant as many as we can. And once they're ready, you know, we're going to have a beautiful stockpile here. Now, right about here, it's uh, going to take us quite a, quite a long time to get this uh, space uh, ready in here. But, but this is something we have to do to raise the level of the water on this side. And now the same thing. We're just gonna put some put some levees all around. And these ones, okay. Hopefully you're seeing you can't reach this corner. Well that's uh, that's very unfortunate, but I think we'll be able to do it once we uh, remove the wooden stairs. Okay, you've done another one. Beautiful. If we block you in, will they still be able to reach? I think they will be, right? Yeah. Okay, these two are done as well. Maybe a slightly high priority. Get these ones done. And you. Okay, so now we have access almost to the level where, where we want it. Right, there we go. And in this area as well, what I'd like to do is... I want to block this in and create a, like a nice pool for us. To save a little bit more water. And maybe with... Uh, with a flat gate in the middle so we can regulate in case we, you know, don't have enough in here. Then we can just uh, open the flat gate. Yeah, we're not going to have this one online before the drought starts. However, maybe in the next drought. Yeah, maybe it's going to be done by then and that that's okay. I mean, these water dumps will be fine in here. They're automated as well, so we can leave it. I think the next thing what I'd like to start doing is maybe clear up this mountain or continue clearing this up and uh, we'll plant some some trees and things in here and this could also be like a spiritual little hill where we will build our our temples yeah that could be, could be pretty lovely i mean it's a uh, quite a long distance for the beavers to go but it's um uh, i think it will be fine so we got the foundation that we need in our second uh, district we got the trees growing and although the lumber mill is not working currently, I think in the next episode we'll be able to expand upon our foundation and I really want to start doing dynamites, metal, get the healer, but also get into those columns that we still haven't managed to try out. So that's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.